All right, so the first mechanic, speed slides, right? I can't really see this because of my, my car, but these are the different overlaps for the different speeds. These are pretty ideal. They're a little off, but they're pretty ideal. Uh, the idea is the faster you go, the less you steer. I to steer quite a lot at 400. It's almost full steer. Um, but instead of trying to remember all these numbers, what I would suggest is just like right around 550 speed is 50% overlap. So just remember, you look at your speed. Am I over or under 550? Okay, then I need more than 50 or less than 50. And then we'll, then we'll show it, right? So 500 is a little bit under 50%, but then you, as you get faster and faster, you have to overlap more and more, right? And I think the map is built in a way where you only reach the finish if you go high enough on the, the jump. So maybe it's 600 that you have to hit. Looks like. DSN TJ, thank you so much. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like... <laughs> My name problem is actually aiming. I'm... I'm starting very thin, and then I expand my speed slide. And the tapping rhythm I have is pretty consistent. If you're doing this, either on controller or keyboard, I would recommend tapping the steering in a rhythm. Like tap, 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 tap. Because if you if you hold on controller, it can be less consistent, actually. This should be a good one if I get the jump. I think you need 600 though. I think I'm not making it. Nope, not quite. This guy's Sigma is good. That is good. Very good speed slide. 600 and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this map is like, what do you call, steep learning curve. You are gonna miss this jump a lot of times, I think, before you get it. Because I'm not hitting it, and I'm doing a, an okay speed slide. Like, I'm doing a pretty okay speed slide. It's not bad. Tapping is better than smooth steering? Not necessarily. The technical perfect, like, task speed slide is holding, right? But for a human, if you're playing a full speed map and you don't know where the path goes, I won't have to look at my skid marks that often because I can just look up and I know the tap, tap, tap will get me the same overlap. But yeah, finding the tapping rhythm that works for you is probably the best idea. That should make it. If this doesn't make it, it's a ruthless training map. It is brutal. Is it left side? Okay, wait, I just need to see the speed. 606. That makes sense for a fast time. 604. I had 603 earlier. Okay, I have a th I have a thesis. That you go left side because this plastic tile changes the jump. I hate admitting it, but I think left side is better. <laughs> This guy made a symmetrical map where left side's better. I'm not kidding. It's not that I'm bad, it, the plastic tile actually helps you do that jump better. Yeah. No, it's it's not it's not copium. I was focused for 10 minutes to try to learn full speed. This was the first map I tried and uninstalled the game after half an hour. <laughs> Never played ever since again besides the sub -tool. XDD3. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> okay, okay, I will get it. Here, here. It's the AO1 problem. Right? Yes. Okay, good. It's the AO1 problem. This is not something you need to know. But, 
Um, on AO1, you have to cancel your speed slide quite early because it makes you fast for a jump. The, the longer you hold the speed slide before the jump, the worse it gets. Also, if you're wondering, and your skid marks doesn't look like mine, I'm using a plugin called Skid Marks Manager. This is a very good plugin for speed sliding. It lets you see your skid marks more clearly.